Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Friday late morning. I hope uh, your week has been great. And of course, your Friday is going pretty good so far as well. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're really just going to look at our severe weather threat and kind of break it down for today. And then we'll glance into the weekend. And then once we get a little bit of a break here, which we will get early next week, then we'll go and take the long range forecast back out. Um, but we'll go all the way through the middle of June. But uh, just real quickly on that note, uh, this has been an active week. Of course, we got more thunderstorms last night. We got a severe threat once again for us today. We still have showers and thunderstorms over the weekend, but our severe threat really goes down until maybe late next week, and then it kind of picks up again around May 22nd or so. So we get a little bit of a lull uh, during the middle of the month, a little bit of a break from all the severe weather events that we've been seeing. All right, first off, huge shout out to my boys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premier roofing contractor, family-owned and operated right here in Joplin, 7th and High Street. Uh, they did my roof in November. Of course, for your roofing needs, give them a call. The number's right there on the screen. All right, let's take a look. Let's dig into today's event, a uh, big upper level low which is kicking out across southern Nebraska. So you can see wrapping around the upper level low, you have the severe threat from Nebraska, Omaha, to Kansas City, to Joplin, to Tulsa, to Oak City, to Dallas, all the way down into parts of Mexico. Uh, in the yellow, that's at least a low threat than an elevated threat, mainly for tornadic activity once you get across parts of Nebraska, western parts of Iowa. All right, let's take a look outside right now. Uh, not a whole bunch going on. Those thunderstorms that blew through last night, those are in eastern parts of Missouri. So we do have some showers, some thunderstorms, eastern Missouri, some thunderstorms, southern parts of Arkansas, and then we also have some storms right on top of us. But look at the big upper level low. You can see it rotating uh, counterclockwise. So the big chances for severe weather is going to be north central parts of Nebraska and then kind of rotating down into northeastern parts of Kansas. Right now, we do have a few little guys out there, a few little thunderstorms that have popped up uh, from Fort Scott just west of Pittsburgh down toward Parsons, uh, even Coffeeville. These are going to kind of meander through over the next few hours. And then I expect bigger thunderstorms later on this afternoon kind of developing uh, out in a far western counties. And those are the ones that have the potential to go severe very quickly. So let's break it down. Let's go through time. These little guys right now, you can see they kind of push through southwestern Missouri into northeastern parts of Oklahoma. And some of those could pack a little bit of a punch, but not expecting much in the way of severe weather. As we continue into the afternoon, this is when we get our tornadic activity going in northern parts of Nebraska. And you can kind of follow that line all the way down through Topeka, all the way down through southeastern Kansas, so Chanute Independence, back toward Ponca City, and then uh, severe weather continues south of Oklahoma City down toward Wichita Falls. So that's the line that we are going to watch as we go through the afternoon. So let's continue through the evening. Explosion of storms, southern Oklahoma, southeastern Kansas, uh, the ones in southeast Kansas that do get going, uh, at least have a very low tornado threat. So, I mean, there there is a tornado threat there. Also, a wind and a hail threat. These extend north northeastern parts of Kansas. So, the Kansas City Metro also needs to watch these by 7, 8 o'clock. And then the guys up in Nebraska starting to wind down at this point in time. So, most of the sh severe weather by this time shifts into Kansas, Oklahoma, and parts of Texas. Let's go through the evening hours. Uh, I think this model is off here. I, I think we'll get some storms that push through Kansas City. And I still think Joplin, um, the four-state area, is going to be getting hit pretty good at this point in time. In fact, if you take this cluster and just shift it north, that's where the storms are going to be. So a severe threat lasts until about 11 p.m. And then I think we have periods of showers and thunderstorms that stick around all night. By tomorrow morning, everybody starts the day and actually has a pretty nice day. You can still see this upper level low across Oklahoma, down through parts of Texas. So rain continues out across the western parts of the four-state area. But once we get into tomorrow evening, look at how the storms flare up again, Oklahoma down through Arkansas. Now, these most likely aren't going to be severe. These are going to be elevated-based, meaning 
Uh, they could be hail makers, but not much in the way of severe weather makers. So Saturday is going to be a pretty good day for the four state area, most of Kansas, most of Missouri. But then rain sneaks back in as we get into tomorrow night and then on and off showers and thunderstorms on Sunday as well. But I wanted to break down the severe weather threat for us this evening. And then, of course, uh, we'll do long range forecasts on the next videos. Hope you guys have a great Friday afternoon. And if you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below. We'll chat soon.